Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Billy and today I am unboxing the December 2017 BAM box. They've been doing an awful lot of teasing on this box. Uh, there's an autograph in here of a guy who's been in like a lot of stuff and uh, they got four different autographs in here. There's a Christmas vacation item, there's Christmas story, uh, yeah. So let's get into the December 2017 BAM box. As always, black paper and the pin first. All right, so the pin this month uh, uh, does come from Christmas Vacation. I got Clark Griswold. I don't like the face on it. Um, it doesn't translate well to pin form. If they're going to do Christmas Vacation as a pin, I would hope maybe that they wouldn't do people. I kind of hope that Bambox in general stops doing people as pins. I don't like people as pins. I mean, it's Christmas Vacation, though. I, I love Christmas Vacation, so this I'm I'm happy with this. All right, we got a box. Okay, uh, this is a mini leg lamp kit from A Christmas Story. So I'm assuming what this is is like it's that little miniature replica of something and then there's a little book in here um, because you can get these at Barnes & Noble or any bookstore that you find. Um, yeah. Uh, so funny story about A Christmas Story. I just saw A Christmas Story last year for the first time uh, and I watched it in July because I'm a contrarian and uh, I, I'm, I've never wanted to watch a Christmas story. I don't understand why it's on TV for 24 hours a day on Christmas. I mean, I, I would get, you know, a different movie, sure, let's do that, but a Christmas story and every year, um, but I watched it and I fell asleep in the middle of it. So it really didn't keep my attention. I'm not gonna open this. I know I don't want it. All right. We got our Decepticon patch from last month. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would get an Autobot patch, but you know, whatever. Uh, patch is a patch and it really doesn't matter that much to me. So Decepticon patch from November in the December box. Better not be two patches in here. Supernatural Dean's God Detecting Amulet. Too much string here. So this is another one of those dark matter props that they've been doing, which are great and are high in quality. Um, I don't know anything about Supernatural though, but here's this thing. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know anything about Supernatural, uh, so this really doesn't do anything for me either. Um, I know that people who are into Supernatural are very into Supernatural. But yeah, it looks cool. I like it. Um, I like it enough. Kind of reminds me of like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Kind of looks like uh, Olmec a little bit in there. That's what they need to put in Bambox, is the Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh my gosh. Alright, what's this? This is a Nightmare Before Christmas dollar replica prop. That's not even a prop. Dollar thing. I am assuming there's like 2,000 people in the world who collect parody corny dollars. And 12 of them might subscribe to Bambox. Apparently, people who run Bambox are fans of them, too. I, I can't stand these things. I don't like them. I don't get the concept of putting something on a dollar bill that's useless. It's just a piece of paper. And it's not even, like, that good. Like, it doesn't even look great. I mean, ugh. this is nice, though. This little thing that they put it in. That's nice. I love how that's exactly the same way I felt about the Game of Thrones coin last time, too. I like the thing that it's in. Alright, what do we got? Alright, this isn't bad. Um, this is a Deadpool uh, Bob Ross picture. Uh, who did this? Steve Gellinter. Steve Gellinter is the artist on this. It's not bad. Uh, so it's Deadpool, he's got the Bob Ross hair, but then it's got like a Bob Rossian picture in the hair as well. Uh, it's a nice little winter skate. I don't like this. I don't like uh, high on life splendor. I mean, I get the saying, I like that, but I don't like the way it looks. It's bad Photoshop. It's not bad. All right, last thing is the autograph. I got so excited when I pulled this out. I was gonna lose my mind because it's a picture of Yoda. And then there's the little signature there and it kind of looks like a Z. And I was like, is this Frank Oz? Oh my God. No, it's not. It's Deep Roy, whoever that guy is. 
Deep Roy. This is the guy who played the Oompa Loompas in the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that Tim Burton did with uh, Johnny Depp. Was he Yoda? Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, Yoda Stand-In is what he is credited as. Paybox, why do you, why do, you do this to me? You, you build me up, you get me all hyped, and then you give me something like this. And I, and I see it, and I'm like, oh, is this who I think it is? And then it's not. And then my dreams are dashed. And, and then I don't like it as much. So once again, there is no spoiler card this month. They put it on the Facebook group uh, that they've been running. And so I get, I get it from a cost-saving perspective of doing it that way. But I, I would much rather have it in the box while I'm doing the unboxing to see it. So I'm trying to look it up right now. All right, so this month's autograph is Deep Roy. Uh, I got the Star Wars one, but you could have also gotten Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Never Ending Story, Star Trek. Um, he plays Kies uh, Kiesner in the new Star Trek films, and that is the one that I would have loved to have gotten. If I had gotten that, I would have been blown away. I would have been stoked because I love that character. It's so funny in the new Star Trek movies, um, and just him and, and Simon Pegg's interactions in those Star Trek movies are so great. So, if you get the bandbox and you get the Star Trek one, I will gladly trade you this Yoda for the Star Trek one. Uh, pen this month, I got Clark Griswold, but you could have gotten uh, Griswold, uh, Cousin Eddie, or the Moose Mug, and the Moose Mug and Cousin Eddie are limited. I would have much preferred the Moose Mug. Uh, I might actually have to go out and try to find that one on the internets somewhere, but Clark is good too. The Nightmare Before Christmas novelty dollar bill. Uh, I don't know. This is going in the trash as soon as this video is over. So the Supernatural Dean's God Detecting Amulet. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I like the design of it, but I don't watch Supernatural, so it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. The mini leg lamp kit from A Christmas Story that you can buy at Barnes and Noble. If you didn't get a band box, you can just go to Barnes and Noble and pick one of these up yourself. And finally, the High on Light Splendor uh, Deadpool Bob Ross variant or thing here. Uh, it says that this one is a limited of 500 on there. You also could have gotten two other ones as well. Um, it's weird though because mine still says 1349 and a 2000 on it. So I don't think it's actually a limited variant. And then last month's uh, Transformers patch came as well. Positive things. Uh, positive things. I like the pen and the amulet is nice. It's not bad. Um, the Deadpool thing is funny, but I don't really care to have it for much longer than, you know, now. If I had gotten the Star Trek autograph, I would have been a lot more pumped about it. But yeah, this is not a strong Bambox. Bambox has had some real weak months here, and the autographs are going way downhill, too, I feel like. I feel like they're not getting the caliber of people that they could be getting anymore. Um, like they're getting puppeteers and stand-ins and, and voice actors now, and, and that's that's not what I want. I want I want actors in movies. I don't know what else to say about the box. Um, you know, I don't care at all for the Christmas story item or that Nightmare Before Christmas thing. Those are both probably getting just tossed. Um, I, I really don't see the value in those items to people at all. It's just, it's really hard to see the value in something like this. I, I know that there are people out there who collect the novelty dollar, and, and I know that those people exist, but I don't see how there would be enough people to warrant printing 2,000, 2,500, however many you're making of these, instead of giving a, a, a better item, instead of finding something else to put in your box that's not a replica novelty dollar. Anyways, that's it for the December 2017 box. I'm going to stop myself before I start getting on a weird ranty thing. Um, tell me what you thought about the box in the comments below. Let me know what you thought should have been in the box from one of these franchises. If, if they had had a better box, what else you would have put in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, and yeah, that's it for me. Until next time.